Yo, what's up? I like legit the volume for some reason is just not as loud as it should be. With their opponents. <laughs> Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. Get strapped in. It's just about time to get the party started. This will be fielded on the back oh, line yeah, of the okay, end zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no run back. Here, this will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25 yard line. All right, here we go. 319! 319! They'll run for the first time with Johnson, and he will lose yardage here back at the 23 yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Okay, there's a tone setter. First play from scrimmage. Stuff him in the backfield. You know what they were doing last night in the hotel room? <laughs> Visualizing exactly <laughs> that. That's what they were thinking about. Making that play. Having leverage. Lower than the offensive lineman. Getting into the offensive backfield. Knocking someone down. Just what you said. Set the tone early for this game. Jeez, you are yes. fired up. Huh? When I see a play like that, I can't help it. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. I saw Von Miller in college at Texas A&M, and all I kept hearing about was his speed off the edge to the quarterback. But what impressed me, his balance and his ability to take on blocks and be a force in the run game, as we just saw there. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Got Fitzgerald. And he takes it all the way down to the 32. Offside defense. So, of course, they declined that there. They knew they had the free play. They got great yardage out of it. It's kind of like when we were at dinner last night. You saw me reach for the check, so you ordered dessert on top of it, right? You say they had the free play. Yeah. Like, right, Andre, right, have what you needed. Go ahead and get a little more on top. I like it. <laughs> Bro, can y'all hear me talk? Yeah, you can use that. Let me see. So forget the three and out. The penalty makes this first and ten. Now let's go. Three and out. Following the penalty, it's Johnson. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Now Rosen to throw on second down. And Gresham, the tight end, brings it in. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. 
When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he's going to be taken down right at the... lead instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. And the kick by Gonzalez he is good. And the Cardinals have the first points. It's 3 nothing. So a pretty good opening drive. That'll make the home fans somewhat happy. They wanted six, but they got three in the early lead. And they should be happy. The guys look good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope that good things are in store here today, Paul. To the field goal. Here's Gonzalez to kick it off. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. Brady now on first down. And a first hookup with his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle, and they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where Every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to... On second down, here's Brady. His throw incomplete. The free safety, Trey Boston, there to knock it away. I wouldn't be shocked at all right now because a look of surprise on the...
his face because he had the route that he wanted running the corner and usually he's able to use his body and catch the football but a really nice play by the defenders able to knock it away on play action now brady dancing to his left and he took the contact as he was throwing it and the ball drops incomplete that's already the third time they've looked his way on this opening drive. He's caught one of the three. That doesn't mean they won't continue to go in that direction. It feels like they think they've got something good going there, and they think those numbers are going to increase. Here we go on fourth down now with Brady. Escaping the pressure right. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Trey Boston. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard line. He was trying to get... Okay, hold on, bro. I gotta fucking put a better fucking... Keep it in. That one to Allen that time. Charles, a bit earlier, we talked about Josh Rosen's rookie campaign. Let's take a step back, look at Arizona collectively. You know, they're going to be picking number one overall in the draft for the first time since 1958 by virtue of their 3 and 13 finish. Where do you see them going with that number one pick? I think that their general manager will announce, as the general manager of Tennessee did a few seasons ago, they were open for business call us let's talk because i think that they would not mind getting out of the number one pick they can bundle together some players to help them with the progress of their young quarterback josh rosen that's who they need to build around he's their future make sure he stays upright make sure he has weapons to throw to that's where the cardinals are going to go so i don't know if they're going to be stuck on just taking one guy they may want to turn that into a few players for now it's rosen looking and he's going to be hit Taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Khalil Mack coming in to drop him for a loss of eight. And it'll be fourth down. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride. And they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. Flush to his right. Shedding the tackle. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Now they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Rodgers now on first down. Eluding the pressure right. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined, but sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck. You don't have defensive bats making plays on the football. Hard to replicate the intensity of the game in pregame. Rolling to his left. And caught left side, Olsen. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag round to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the fourth. Hmm. 